Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to the Terra Groove fight in the Sanctum of Domination on normal and heroic difficulty. In the first trash of the raid, you'll kill four infused Goliaths that drop anima powers for you to pick. The choices are randomized from a list specific to the encounter. Try to make sure that at least one person has ever beating heart, which gives stun immunity, and avoid powers with detrimental group effects like lumbering form. Overpower is our tank swap of the day, and this one stuns, so swap on every cast. The Terra Grew will let out Predator's Howl, which debuffs several players with unshakable dread. While they're debuffed, they get a ring around them that fears other players. Get some space if it's on you, and the healers can work to dispel them. Grasp of Death is unavoidable damage, that's a healer problem. Chains of Eternity is what's probably going to toast the most people in this fight. That will target a player, and after 8 seconds, a chain will fly out towards them, stun the first person it hits, and then grip them in for a deadly smash. To survive this, you need whoever takes the hit to be immune to stuns. If someone in the raid took the ever-beating heart power, they can intercept the chains by standing in front of the target, and they'll be fine, mechanic solved. You can also do this with standard immunities like Bop, anything that would prevent a stun. Hungering Mist summons waves of shades that will cover most of the floor with AoE, so everyone move to the safe spot. This is very easy, unless someone took lumbering form and is bumping people into the shadows. This is why we don't do that. Fury of the Ages gives the boss a big haste and damage buff, tanks be aware of that. At 10% health, the Jailer wipes out everyone's anima powers and buffs the boss for 500% more damage. Use everything you've got left to finish the Terra Groove before the Terra Groove finishes you. On normal, that's it. On heroic, we get one more thing. Remnants of Forgotten Torments calls down a puddle with a set of charges, which torments the entire raid in a couple of ways until it's soaked. You can poke it to take a charge off it and shoulder one of the torment debuffs yourself. For example, while Soulforge Heat is on the ground, the entire raid takes damage over time. Absorbing that charge stops the raid damage but gives you a dot for a minute and a half. Go ahead and take one for the team. All of them make you take more damage in some way, so just be extra careful while you've got a torment. And that is the Terra Grew in the Sanctum of Domination. Thanks for watching, I've got more videos for you if you like, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.